This video is exclusively for architects, management consultants, advertising and marketing agencies who are looking for a new way to increase their success in tenders, pitches, sales or day-to-day -day client meetings. So let me ask you this, are you currently missing out on opportunities or not winning enough tenders or pitches because you believe your project was either out of budget or your design didn't fit the mold or you believe the competition had a clear advantage because they had an existing relationship? So here's the thing, none of what I just mentioned is the real reason. The real reason is that you've spent all your time and effort on your content, the brief, the design, the slides, the experience and the research. But what you probably haven't considered is how you're going to sell it. How you're going to walk into the room, ensure that you're being heard and delivering it with impact. Look, budget is an important factor and having pre-existing connections helps. But what you'll always find is this, people buy people. Above all else, we buy from individuals who are confident, competent, and who we can trust. I work with ASX listed companies across Australia, New Zealand, and Europe. Now, since working with my clients, their success rate for monthly tenders and pitches has drastically increased. And as a result of this, they've increased their revenue in millions of dollars. Increasing your team's confidence, emotional intelligence, and communication skills will not only set you apart from your competitors, it will increase sales and equip your staff so they can build meaningful client relationships and build credibility. My name is Chloe Ostreich. I'm a consultant, coach, and speaker. I work with CEOs, senior executives, and small groups to help individuals communicate confidently so they can become effective consultants that lead with impact. Over the last seven years, I've observed my clients make the same mistakes over and over again. Regardless of what industry, there's a common belief that experience and expertise is enough. Especially amongst management consultants and architecture firms, IQ has been rated higher as EQ. Yet what often matters to clients the most is whether they can trust you and believe you're an effective communicator and consultant. So guess what? All your hard work and expertise is absolutely worthless if you can't excite, motivate and inspire your client. I want you to imagine a world where you finally did your design, your project, your tender that you've been working on for months justice. I want you to imagine not having to frantically scramble PowerPoint slides together in the last minute, but actually preparing accordingly and being equipped with the right tools so you can communicate and present confidently. Research shows that when we meet someone for the first time, we decide within the first three seconds whether we believe someone is confident, competent and trustworthy. So regardless of your experience or expertise, you're being judged on your capabilities within a very short time. Now this is based on numerous components, including the way you look, dress, speak and carry yourself. In my Influential Leader program, I coach individuals and work with small groups to help them understand what's currently undermining each of them in day-to-day -day client meetings. By increasing their EQ and level of self-awareness, we'll quickly identify each person's individual strengths and areas of improvement so they can gain greater confidence. What happens when you increase your level of self-awareness is you're able to change habits. Now, habits that undermine you might include saying, um, after every sentence or using filler words such as kind of, sort of, or just. They all lessen the impact of statements. It might also be that every time you're being asked to speak and present in front of a large group of people, you have a tendency to fall into a low status pose or you get nervous, so you freeze and you lose your clarity of thought. So these are just a handful of examples that make you appear less competent, confident and trustworthy. But this matters greatly as it impacts your credibility.
Part of the Influential Leader Program is to create transformational change over the course of three to five months. It's to ensure that you're equipped in situations where you're being challenged. It's to ensure that you can present your personal brand with confidence. It's to ensure that you can communicate effectively and lead with impact in a volatile, uncertain climate. Today, I promise to challenge your way of thinking and shine a light on your blind spots. Above all, I wanted to give you a healthy dose of reality to make you realize that there's a whole lot more to success and winning contracts than just relying on experience and knowledge. So now you have an important decision to make and you have to ask yourself if you're truly committed to the growth of your business. A, you either stay where you are and fall back into the mediocrity of how you've always done things, or B, you take charge and step into action. If that's you, then fill out the application form so I can find out a little bit more information about you and your business, and we can discuss over the phone how I can help. I look forward to hearing from you.